before we start off with this next video, we just want to give out a, a quick uh, condolence and respect to anyone going through the situation in Ukraine or anything that's going on with over there. So we just wanted to give out our, our present thoughts to anyone affected by that. But other than that, enjoy the video. All right, we're back with the Midnight Dweebs here. Um, this is our guest, once again, Pilar. Hello. And she'll be joining us for these next few videos Hi. and these topics that we're going to be going through, which this first one will be the Mandela Effect. What do you guys know about the Mandela Effect? It's fake. No, I'm just <laughs> you know... I saw a TikTok not too long ago, actually, about the Mandela effect. That's supposed, or it wasn't even a TikTok. I think it was a YouTube video. But it was saying that uh, supposedly, I know y'all are gonna be like this is stupid, and, and honestly, it probably is. But supposedly, holy shit, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> what? It's, okay, so supposedly people die, and then you like re-remember your whole life. Within like those like five minutes, like before you actually pass away, mm -hmm. you basically relive everything, and supposedly that's what the Mandela effect it is. That's what the Mandela effect is. Uh, it's basically you trying to remember like all those little stupid like details, I guess. Okay. Something like that. I think I know what you're talking about. I think what I heard <laughs> about it, it's I think it's some sort of like religion that happens in, like when you die or like five minutes before your death and they show everything in that five minutes or whatever i can't remember what it was called but i'll have to i'll have to, I'll have to check i've never it. heard of that but you kind of yeah i kind of know what, what you're talking about okay. because i remember talking about it like in high school about that specific thing but i can't remember what it was called it's not like deja vu it's not i don't, I don't really remember what it was but. um Damn, that guy really like complex right there. Yeah, but I, didn't, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 you get it. But um, let's just uh, list a few uh, Mandela effects that you remember. For me, I remember one where it's like Pikachu from Pokemon, and apparently he didn't have the uh, the black detailing on his tail because it's always been yellow, apparently, or like stuff yeah. like that, or like Curious George. That he never had, or that he had to tell, but he never did, apparently. Like, what do you remember about, like, stuff like that? Like, Curious George. So, okay, so, we were actually talking about this, like, off camera, but when it comes to the Curious George one, I don't know how to say this, but I'm a big fan of Curious George. <laughs> Spent 40 bucks on a plush of him, you know? I totally regret, but... You still got it? That's a different story. Um, yeah, I still got okay, it. It was, it was those claw machines, you know? Yeah. The claw machine, I lost, and then I ended up winning. $40? $40? Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck? I was, I was stupid. But, um, but yeah, I know he didn't have a tail just because, like I said, I've, I've been watching him in the past. Or I've, I was a fan ever since I was a little kid. Um, so I knew he didn't. But there's some that are like... So, for example, okay. So... There was just one day I told my girlfriend that I thought Mandela Effect was fake. Mm -hmm. Just because I was like, it's just, it's nothing. Like, it's fake. Like, people are just dumb and don't remember. And I told her about the Monopoly guy. You know how supposedly he has oh, a little... Yeah. Monocle. Yeah. Monocle. And I'm like, you see, people are, are getting confused between the Monopoly dude and the dude from the chips, the lace one. I'm like, the lace one is the one that has the monocle. Does he? Oh, he doesn't, dude. He doesn't, no, right? the Pringle either. one. Pringle, Pringle, there you go. Pringle. Wait, what did I say? Lace. Lace. Okay, Lace. Lace, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, Pringle, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, And I looked it up and I... Jokes oh, on me, I was wrong. Yeah. yeah. Now I remember that. I thought I was I was getting into like a... I was like detective work and it just... All blew up in my face. It was all No, it, I think it was always a Monopoly one who, who had that little thing on his on his eye. I definitely do remember. But some. apparently yeah. he never did. Yeah. Do you... Do you know of any mandela effects mm. well i know that the whole mandela effect i think started when nelson mandela like the actual person he died supposedly he died in like the, maybe the 80s and the 90s but then years later they actually announced his death so he really didn't die back then like he people thought he they remembered him dying that's where it, yeah. it started from it started from nelson, nelson mandela. mandela and then that's how they got the name mandela effect i actually but, didn't know that yeah so like People thought they remembered him dying. I guess they forgot about him. And then they, years later, he actually died. So that's when people started remembering it. 
<laughs> but the the most famous one I remember is the Berenstein Bears. Mm. That's that's the biggest Mandela effect that it's, I have. It's Berenstein. Because I specifically was such a big Berenstein Bear fan when I was like three or four. I had like all the books. I watched all the shows. And I specifically remember it being Berenstein Bears. So I don't know. That's crazy to me. Do you remember that, that I, book I remember, or show? So I used to watch that back when I was like 19 years old. 19? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I just No, no. Back when I was younger, I actually watched that. It was on PBS, it was on I PBS think. Yeah, for a while. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah how, uh, how do you remember it? Was it AIN or EIN? Steen. I remember it being EIN. Yeah, I do remember it being Berenstein Bears. Yeah. I think like that was I don't know if that's like a core memory I had, but like I just always remember watching those shows and reading the books and it being E I N, but then somewhere in the mix I also do remember it being A I N. So I don't know if it was both and they just I changed think they, it. Like, changed it at yeah. one point. Because I, I remember being both but for the most part E I N, so So okay, so when it comes to the whole Mandela effect, do you think maybe it's so you think it's probably like a little bit fake ever since like I guess like the internet started just because like people probably would say so like in the future so we got Sonic Cubs right mm -hmm. in the future they're like yo I remember Sonic was spelled with CK or whatever yeah. you know and you're probably like oh you're right it was spelled with CK but it, like reality is just Sonic you know just and like you think probably just people saying that makes you think makes you just overthink and it's probably just like what it is maybe I've always maybe thought that like some people just do that shit on purpose just to like get something trending or um yeah get exactly. something like popping or something. Cause you won't think of it like unless someone mentions it that Sonic had a K, then you won't actively think of it exactly. until someone says something. Exactly. And then that's why there's this whole like since the internet's so big, once one person says it, the whole media's on it. That's why the Mandela thing gets so big. It's because one person mentions it. And then they kind of think like, well, maybe it did have a K at the end, you know? So. That's true. That's true. I should I look at more Mandela effects? <gasps> I can name some off my head. Um, keep that a little bit closer. Um, I know that a uh, C-3PO from Star Wars, apparently he had a silver leg, bro. He he wasn't all gold. Like that shit blew my mind. I'm like, ain't no way he was all. Uh, he was all gold, but apparently he always had a silver leg, which I just don't believe. Cause like, we're actually talking about that off camera too, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Honestly, the three CPO one does kind of <laughs> stumble me a little bit, cause I actually didn't know. Like I always thought he was fully gold, like you said. Same. I do remember seeing him with the with the messed up leg, though. I do remember that. Yeah, messed up leg. Not a messed up, but or the, just the different the color. Leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or the whole Darth Vader one. Oh. Where, like. What he say? It's, he originally said, no, I am your father, but everyone thinks he said, Luke, I am your father, but it wasn't that way around. And I think Luke, I am your father got like, so like hyped up that everyone just thought it was that for the longest time. But he never said Luke, He right? never said Luke. It just said, he just said, no, I am your father. You, you know who, um, the rock is the, the wrestler. Yeah. You remember his theme song? No, I don't remember his theme song. It's like, um. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Nah, Do you smell? All right, let me let me play it for you real quick. All right. Another one I remember is um, Cheez Its. For me, I personally remember them being Cheez Its, like with the Z at the end, instead of just Cheez It. Because I always um, I always associated like Cheez Its. I say, oh, let me get some Cheez Its. So I don't know. There's a had to be a Z at the end, but apparently there wasn't. So. Yeah. That Wait, is it sense. is it just cheese it? Yeah. That sounds weird, right? Cheese it. Sounds like, like why just, would like, you just say it cheese it? Yeah, cheese it. I'm gonna get a cheese it. That sounds weird, right? I want yeah. some cheese it. Yeah. It, it's cheese it's because it's like multiple of them. It's a yeah. bunch of them, you know. Oh no, but yeah, bro. Apparently, it was never. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? It was always if you smell what the rock is cooking, mm. which just sounds weird, really like. This is from a newer version. Damn, oh, shit. still nine years ago. But I honestly, like, when I read that again or heard it, I do remember him saying if, like, at the beginning of the song. Mm -hmm. But apparently a lot of people remember him saying can. Because, like, I don't know, it just it's a more of a general question if you just 
can you smell? Because of course someone can smell if you're cooking something versus if you smell. Like, I don't know. It, it was just... That one made me think about it real hard. Because, like, some of these do trip me out a lot. Like, even the, um... What was another one that I saw? Chick-fil-A. Uh, it's oh, yeah, spelled yeah. differently. Or Coca-Cola. Like, apparently oh, yeah. Coca-Cola Coca doesn't have that little dash in the middle. Um, We don't have one right now. But, um, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no. Y'all, like... This was an old show, I think, but, like, the show Sex in the City from HBO. Uh, I it's... Well, I've never seen it, but I know what you're going to yeah, say. Yeah, it's Sex and the City, which I always thought it was Sex it in was, the City. Yeah. I, because I, I have a vivid memory of, like, I was in New York one time, and there being, like, a billboard, and I specifically remember being Sex in the City, but I guess not. Because why would it be Sex at the City? No, it's and. Sex and the City? And the City. Sex in the City. You think it's because of how city. people pronounce it? I feel, maybe I feel maybe. like a lot of the Mandela effect could also be the way people pronounce it. So people just associate like a certain like accent with like mm. N in, in the and city. And so the city, it's yeah. like yeah. And in it does kind of sound similar. No, yeah. that's true. Same with like the bears, Bearstein bears. People, people with a different accent yeah, probably just say it. Bearstein or what are they? <laughs> Berenstain. <laughs> like I'm sure people from Boston or something would say Berenstain because they got that kind of accent. Bear. Yeah. Oh, another one is like, y'all know the band Queen? Like, from Freddie the, Mercury? from the, yeah, Freddie Mercury, like in the 80s or whatever. When he sings, We Are the Champions, my friends. Uh -huh. And then apparently the song never ended, We Are the Champions of the World. Everyone remembers him being like, of the world. Mm -hmm. But it was never like that. It was just, yeah. it ended with just, We Are the Champions. I think that was it. Hold on. Let me check this real quick. No time for losers because we are the champions. And I think everyone like assumed it would world. end of the world. I feel like that's just kind of like a, the like fans a made it like yeah. that. I, maybe it was never actually, I mean, I never heard to the actual song. But maybe maybe the fans just like made it up and like thought it was maybe, in the yeah, song yeah. by passing it on and shit. But um, I feel like there's others with um singers or famous people or just movies in general. Um... Which one? I, I always see a bunch of these on TikTok. I feel like in the future, something, it's going to be like one with the TikTok logo too. It won't be T-I-K and T-O-K. It'll be T-I-C and T-O-C. Like the way they spell it is going to change or something Wait, too. What? TikTok. TikTok. Oh, TikTok. Yeah. There's just a lot of like, honestly, it's like the most random things if you kind the of think about it. smallest things yeah. too. Because it doesn't really make you like, you never, it's something that you don't think about too much. Mm -hmm. You know, like imagine like the logo Subaru, they spell it differently, or or, Kit or, Kat. or Kit, yeah, Kit Kat, or, or um, Sonic, or it's just like the most minuscule things that you just go off your day by day life not realizing. Yeah. When you think about them, like whoa, that's when you think about it. You're like, yeah, I don't remember it being like this or like that. It was like this or like this or like this or like that. But like even this laptop, like it's Asus. How do I know it's not fucking like? Isus or Yeezus or Yeezy or Kanye or some shit. No, I'm kidding. But, um... <laughs> but... <laughs> but we're not. No, but, like... <laughs> it's just, like, the small stuff like that. that really, I see what like, you mean, though. It, it trips... It can trip someone out when they don't really think about it as much. Because there's also a company called Acer. And they also do Acer. computer stuff, yeah. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah. Acer. Okay. Acer, Aces. Acer. And... I don't know. I feel like it's just... People, like, even the spellings, like, the Oreos, like, double stuff Oreos, it never, it was just S-T-U-F, and stuff is normally spelled S-T-U-F-F. -F. So I think people just associate the correct word, or the correct way of writing something, and then, but it's actually not, and they just have that idea in their head, like, oh, it's supposed to be this way, so that's how I remember it. But in reality, it was just always spelled the wrong way. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like it's, the, like, what you said, mm -hmm. they try to do the correct way. Or is the way, like I said, like they how they pronounce it? I yeah, feel like. it's mm -hmm. those two. And then once someone mentions it, it's like, oh. And if it blows then, up. Yeah, and they think of it, and, and then the whole world's talking about it. You remember the peanut butter? The the most one of the most famous ones. What would you call that peanut butter? The brand it starts with a J. Isn't it like Jif? Oh, yeah. Jif. It was okay. Jiffy. It, it is used to Jiffy? be Jiffy, J I F F Y. Jiffy. But it's no. No, it, I, it, I always Jif. remember that one being Jif. Yeah, just Jif. I remember that one being Jif too. 
Because uh-huh. I, I remember, I remember watching Dashi a lot, and he had a whole thing about hating uh, peanut butter, and it was always the Uh-oh. Jif one. I don't remember him yelling Jiffy. It was always J I F. But apparently, Jiffy. no, it's actually people remember it being Jiffy. Uh-oh. I don't, I don't remember it being Jiffy. I know it's Jif. I know Jiffy Lube yeah, is okay. like the oil place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But not Jiffy the peanut butter. Wait, you know? y- y'all like peanut butter? Yeah. I like peanut butter, yeah. Okay, but do you like the crunchy one, though? I do. I yeah, I good. like the crunchy like yeah, one. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, me too. I thought I was weird for liking Why? the crunchy. Why? Do, do people disagree <laughs> with you, bro? Yeah, people have disagreed with me, but I always like, thought I, I was taste. weird for liking the crunchy one, dude. That's good. I, I it's think good, right? The first time I had it was in high school, and I had it, like, every morning, so it was pretty good. I didn't really, like, not like it. Mm-hmm. You remember Looney Tunes? Yeah. How would you spell the word tunes at the end of that? T double O or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. It's T U N E S. I were, I swear to God, it used to be T O N S. Because Looney Because it's is a cartoon. T O O N. Looney Tune. T O O N. But it's never. It never was. It's T U N E S. Which just so trips me out. Right it's just tunes. normal tunes. It's just normal tunes. I mean, it sounds. It sounds the same. But Looney yeah. Tunes, a cartoon versus Looney Tunes, yeah. like a song kind of thing. It trips me out. Yeah, What's another one? Good. Oh, um, fucking Febreze. That stuff you spray to smell your house smell good. How many E's did that have, bro? Three or four? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? Febreze, three or four? I don't know. Three. F-E-B-R-E-E-Z-E or F-E-B-R-E-Z-E? So just no double E. Yeah. I it think was... I remember just being no double I E. I swear it used to be two E's in the middle. Febreze. It almost sounds like freeze. I remember that one over there. Oh, do you? Oh, no, that's Lysol. Oh. That's oh, Lysol. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I remember being in the spelling bee in sixth grade, and I think they gave me the word for breeze, but it's not even like a word, it's a brand, so I don't know why they gave it to me, but I got it wrong. You know, I did two E's. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And that's why you misspell it? Sorry. Yeah. You know Sketchers? Yeah. Sketchers is funny. Um, Sketchers, uh, how would you spell that? Like, how do you remember spelling that? S K E T C H E R S or S K E C H E R S? Because you would assume it's Skechers, like a sketch kind of thing. But no, nah, it was always Skechers. S K E C H E R S. Skechers. I like Skechers. <laughs> I wish Skechers when I was little. I don't know what to add on to that one. Um. You know the underwear brand? Which one? The one with the fruit. Yeah, fruit for for loops. <laughs> no. For the looms. I forgot what it's called. Fruit and loom. Oh, okay. Right? It's fruit of the loom. It was never fruit to the loom. I remember it being fruit of fruit. You're you're missing. Oh no, I'm tripping. It's n- it's not the it's not the logo. No, it is the logo actually. It's not the way it's spelled. What do you remember what that like thing would look like? The logo. It had fruits and like a corn basket in the back, right? Nah, I remember it didn't have grapes. It had grapes, okay. apples, I think that's lettuce. And it had this corn thing in the back that took the whole shape of it. A what? Hey, let me see it. Cornucopia. Hey, let cornucopia? Let me see it I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Like the little cornucopia on behind the fruit. I don't know. I can't remember. I swear when I was younger, like, I would see that, like, a little cornucopia in the back, but apparently he never had it. I know we've all seen the film. Forrest Gump. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I, fro- I, fro- <laughs> I froze for a second. Oh, we're all waiting for I, like, I glitched out, bro. Um... <laughs> you were having that five uh, minutes, leave bro. Leave that in the video. You were having um, that five minutes, bro. <laughs> um, you remember the whole like um his like catchphrase? You remember what, like Special. life is like a box of chocolates, right? Yeah. It was never that. It was actually life was like a box of chocolates. But I remember it being life is like a box of chocolates. How do you remember it? Did you, did you see that film? Yeah. I saw it in high school. Yeah, I saw what, it in high school too. It? High school. Okay, that's good. I was in my history class. Yeah. Same. 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 Well, because it has history. It has, like... A bunch of shit going yeah. on during the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, I don't. That, that one's crazy. Oh, this one tripped me out, bro. Oh, this one. <sighs> Sleeping Beauty, the villain. What does she talk to herself in in the thing to like get opinions from this thing? What bro. is that? What is that shit that you get a reflection on? Oh, a mirror. Yeah. Do you remember exactly what she used to say to the mirror? Dude, honestly, I've never seen any of those movies, dude. It's like a more common phrase, like, I think in a lot of Disney movies they have it, but it's like, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's like the fairest of them all. But apparently, it was always magic mirror on the wall. It was never mirror, mirror. I remember it being mirror, mirror. Like, what the fuck? Like, why would it be magic mirror? I mean, yeah, it's a magic mirror, but it just, it made no sense. The Darth Vader one. The Mandela effect overall is something you just... It's like, it's it's easy to miss something in your day-to-day -day life. And it's either from a name, to a place, to a person, to a food, to whatever, to like social media, to like the media media. Something small can change and it can just cause a whole reaction like people to like remember it this way or remember it that way but apparently i know the biggest theory about mandela effects or supposedly something happens with our current timeline and it ripples and the smallest things changes like i know that supposedly if you kill a butterfly in the in the past some like fucking some crazy shit would happen in the future um say like you kill a butterfly in the past you have like bears on unicycles now just delivering your packages I know and what shit. you mean, yeah, yeah. And that's what people think is what's happening with Mandela Effect. Something happens in the past somehow and it changes the smallest thing in the future and that's how we remember it. We just act like cross into like another timeline or something. But um But yeah, like you got anything else to say about uh Mandela effects? Nah, not really. No. But I mean, I guess like I, I mean that, I feel like that's what Mandela effect is. Just get something small that like no one thinks about, like you said. And if it goes viral, then it's it's a new Mandela effect, yeah. you know. But yeah, that's our video on Mandela effects. Oh yeah.